a vampire foursome, a fire monster extinguished, and a whole lot of pig sh I'm Alex, and if you haven't seen Everybody Wants to Rule the World, this is your official spoiler alert. So, Attack on the World's True Blood Factories is officially a go, and it's only a matter of time before the mainstream vamps get too hungry to play nice with the humans. Call me immature, but I was a little too distracted by the male full frontal on display to understand any of the weird Lilith prayers they're chanting in the beginning. But I think it's safe to assume the chancellors are still up to no good. I think it's also safe to say that Bill has officially lost it. I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, assuming he was just pretending to play along with Salome and the gang for the purpose of some greater good, but no, he really really is tripping. Here's to hoping that Eric will find a way to get them out of this mess after he gets himself out of handcuffs. Is it just me or does childhood Alcid look not at all like Alcide and a lot like Jacob Black? And congrats to Andy for not being the worst sheriff in town after all. Just when you think someone might actually be harmless in this damn town, turns out Sheriff Dearborn and his dragon wife are the ones behind this crazy anti-soup killer clan. Props to crazy karate Sam who pretty much kicked the crap out of the whole clan bare ass naked. That was Awesome. Poor Sookie. Whacked with a frying pan, drugged with ginger ale, fed to the pigs, and rape drained by Bill and his kinky little vampire sex dream. Kind of an easy day for her, actually, relatively speaking. Didn't I tell you that your fairy powers would probably come in handy again? Also, thank God Terry's whole fire monster storyline has been wrapped up, because it was really starting to stress me out. I'm pretty sure I've chewed all of my nails off watching him fight fire, hold a gun up to his own head, wrestle with a crazy armed Scott Foley, so here's to hoping that drama is done and buried. And of course, leave it to wrestle the a multitasker to take a break from taking over the world to visit his werewolf friends and provide their daily dose of V. Of course, Martha's gotta start trouble, so he decides to kidnap, dognap, Luna's daughter Emma. Maybe if Martha hadn't practically kidnapped her from Luna in the first place, Emma wouldn't be stuck in this mess. But adorable puppy or not, in Russell's clutches is not a place you want to be. Will Bill be saved from the dark side? What's up with this new vampire sheriff kicking Pam around? And will Alcide and his dad join forces to take down the V-addicted pack? Only three more episodes left, so don't forget to check back with me to talk more True Blood.